So with this, we didn't get to this, we got sidetracked again. With this third uh, protocol, um, how does this one work? And what makes why why is this at least from what you think right now a good idea? Maybe people disagree, but why is this the third one you went with? So um, this protocol. So one one huge problem with the old one was that there's an absolute coordinate system that is tied to the monitor. Mm -hmm. So if you have a following or tiling uh, compositor, you don't know where the start is and where you place your windows actually, and it's uh, it's a bit hard. So um, what this new protocol does is um, the application or the client um, requests a workspace or work area for it. Um, and then the compositor replies with, hey, OK, I give you this space. It's uh, about this big. And you can place your windows in that space. Mm -hmm. And then the application can absolute place its windows in this rectangle. and um, then basically uh, be done with it. Uh, so what the uh, what this protocol allows you to do is to group windows actually exactly into a plane that can be moved together because then you know which windows belong together. Mm -hmm. It's tied to a screen, so you know um, like the scaling factors and everything, and you can place stuff on a separate screen easily. Mm -hmm. um, you can share this workspace with sub processes, so you can say, uh, "I have like." child um, processes, which also want to place windows in my workspace. So I just pass it a handle to the workspace, and they are allowed to place absolutely in that space as well. Mm -hmm. And it also allows the compositor to basically um, mark certain areas of, uh, of the screen as out of limits. For example, if it has a panel at the top, it can just not give the application the full, full space, but just give it the space that uh, that is not that is unobstructed and where it knows that windows can be theoretically placed mm -hmm. so um that is basically the the gist of this protocol and the compositor can still reject like placement requests like if something collides with some important win uh, some important shell element the compositor can still say no i move it somewhere else and then the application knows that this window was moved and can correct it if it wants to or just like roll with it mm -hmm. so it's still not like the the application having absolute control, but it's basically a compromise between the fully absolute window-based placement and the like relative placement uh, solutions. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but the a simple way to describe it would be to the application, it looks like absolute positioning with dynamically sized monitors, effectively. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So it, <laughs> I I love this. I I. <laughs> I love this as a uh, as a solution because it's just global positioning with extra steps, basically. <laughs> yeah. One of the biggest drawbacks is that there's a bunch of added complexity. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, so if your work area, so what I expect to happen is that most compositors will just like match the work area to the monitor. So it would literally be the same thing. <laughs> Unless you have a compositor which is a tiler, which might just give it a smaller space. Or if you have one of those infinitely scrolling compositors, it would just remember that particular area for um, for that one application and mm -hmm. allow it to place it somewhere on its like infinite canvas. So it would work for those two cases. It would like probably work terribly for Tyler's, but to be honest, I, it's better than before, and I don't think these applications will ever be great on a tiling window manager. So mm. honestly, just if you need but, a multi-window application, just have the application be floating. Most tilers have the option to do floating windows. Just do that. Exactly, like Hyperland I've seen on the video uh, of it, like actually supports this, so that would work um yeah also but... wm for example let you set like a a specific workspace to just be floating so everything on there is just automatically floating that would be awesome that's that that solves it kind of um but yeah one complexity that this protocol has if it doesn't match the window size and you have for example in the middle of your screen you have a smaller rectangle where your, your GIMP windows are placed and then mm -hmm. the user moves that one window to the top left out of the range of that workspace um what do you do? So then the uh, the position of that window is basically a negative space. And um, the application can't position stuff anymore because it can only put absolute position in the work area. Mm. So 
since this is the user's intent to have the window there, the protocol currently mandates the um, the uh, work area to be resized to inc always include all the windows that the application uh, has. Um, but that means that the top, the origin, the coordinate system origin changes to a different position, which means that every single window that is contained in the work area will have suddenly have a new coordinate. So uh, that is something I kind of really dislike. Um, but I also haven't found any actual problem with it because applications handle could handle this. Uh, so, and yeah, um, it will also restore backwards compatibility um, with existing applications. So something like Wine would just acquire a workspace for an application, could position everything. Everything would work as it does before. Um, the compositor would have the additional semantic information of how individual windows should be related to each other. So it could compress them in overviews, for example, um, or like Tylus could, could theoretically do that. Or you could move all of the windows of the same application to a, like, or the same like work area to a different uh, monitor, a different workspace. So it allows a lot of like pretty nice things that uh, X11 kind of also allows, but only with hacks. So. Um, that's why I like this protocol. It's fairly straightforward, and it should make the um, make the like infinite window uh, manager enthusiasts and uh, a bit happier. <laughs> but of course, it's still absolute positioning, and there's still the application like making a request to have a window somewhere. And if you are like fundamentally opposed to that, you will not be happy with this protocol either. Yeah, that's what I was going to get into. Um, have there been people that have brought up that concern? Because it is basically just absolute positioning with extra steps. Yeah, um, there hasn't been uh, several looks. There actually has someone has replied today on that protocol, and I just skimmed it, um, but I haven't seen any. Um, I think everybody is at the moment like either uh, tired or like doing <laughs> other things. I did a ton of feedback yet, um, except positive feedback. So everybody who replied so far, yeah. Uh, Oh, um, uh, has has been positive about it. I just saw uh, Simon from uh, not Simon Sir, but um, oh, it's his last name from App Image uh, replied to it too. Um, he is like coincidentally. Um, let's see. Oh no no nah. <laughs> wrong wrong merge request. Sorry. I was um, gonna yeah, I was gonna say I couldn't find. I was it. looking at the. Uh, I was looking at the um, at the window uh, and the window icon thing. That's what he replied. Ah, um, okay. Which makes sense because he has like some um, some stuff going on as well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, there's no no real no real fundamental opposition yet on the on the other yeah. one. There's been a bunch <laughs> of remarks. Uh, like some people were like, what happens uh, if a window is between uh, like between monitors? How is that handled? Um, and should an application, for example, demand the workspace to be of a certain size? So could it say, I expect all my windows when I place them to occupy this space? So could it give a hint to the compositor that might occupy the space? And I thought those were good ideas. So um, hmm. they are in the like a hint now. to take the entire monitor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and just create absolute positioning again. So if you I pass like, like a zero space request, that basically means I want as much space as you can give mm -hmm. me. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't look. I, I still think there's going to be people that have concerns with this um i already mentioned that when i when i brought this up uh before that was, this protocol is the one that the hyperland dev uh specifically complained about so i guarantee there's going to be some complaints but you know we're getting late into december so people are doing other things right now you're not going to get as much attention um i'm sure there's going to be some discussion on this as we go on, because it's only been out for a week so far. So give it give it some more time, and I'm sure the complaints will definitely come in. Um... Yeah. But I'm, I'm not a person who gives up until yeah. I at least, uh, like, at least know that I got my point across. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if I think the other person understands, like, 
the basically the problem and the, the proposed solution and still disagrees and it's like mm -hmm. no because i think my point is just more important at that point there's no real reason to uh discuss more about it because then it's just a difference in opinions and you can't really argue it about it like if they say but if they say like okay i don't like this but i could imagine something else to work then mm -hmm. there is the, an opportunity to reach an agreement mm -hmm. and um ultimately i think either we do or we like go for the ext namespace and uh then have it there mm -hmm.